you ever played whack-a-mole? That's behavioral contrast, folks. Um, no, seriously, it is. Like, so you got two behaviors that are happening, right? They're functionally on different schedules. Well, if I like punish this one, all right, guess what happens to this one? It's gonna, so this one's gonna go down, this one's gonna go up. Why? Well, be, you could argue for homeostasis, but that's a hypothetical sort of, anyway. The point being that um, when you have behaviors that are on, um, Oh, I don't know what the term is. Um, a multiple schedule, right? So when behaviors are on a multiple schedule, when you alter one schedule, then the behavior on the other schedule, right, that's attached to it, right, that's on the multiple schedule, this one is going to go in the opposite direction. So if we reduce this behavior by punishment, this one's going to go up, right? So or if we increase this behavior by reinforcement, this one's likely to go down. The end result is that kind of a net standard of amount, uh, reinforcement amounts that, that happen. Um, and by the way, this is a really cool effect that happens not just in humans. Um, it happens across the board. So behavioral contrast. Change one behavior, you're going to get a change in the other behavior in an opposite direction. That's all there is to it.